Oh, hey guys, Boston fan back with just a quick mail day update. Um, I received two packages in the mail today. One, the top one is um, from eBay and it is purchased with some of my swag gift cards. So again, I have the Tony La Russa up as part of a contest, join swag bucks under my name, earn swag bucks for yourself to get gift cards. I get a referral bonus. Um, and then for every 10 swag bucks that I get as a referral from you, I enter your name into winning the Tony La Russa signed Hall of Fame plaque. Um, and then the second one, I believe is a Jabs family giveaway from one of his Fan Mail Fridays. Um, the return address is from Pennsylvania in a PO box. I will have been waiting on one, so we're gonna start with that. I believe it's from that. Um, could be one other eBay purchase I'm waiting to get in, but I don't think that's coming till next week. So it is, congratulations on our fine performance in Kahoot. Thank you very much. And it was very nice. So I finished sixth and I got the sixth pick. And I got a Fernando Tatis Jr. double or dual relic. It's not numbered. Um, it is from this year, so it is a rookie card. Very nice. So I wonder if I placed the six. I don't know. Um, I remember there was a Porcello relic, a bl uh, jumbo pack of 2019 tops, a Robin Yount autograph, um, a Rocco Baldelli dual autograph, and patch and an Ian Kinsler patch um, so I wasn't particularly getting this but it's kind of neat because since that video over the last couple weeks I've more and more gotten into rookie cards so this is a pretty nice addition um, to the rookie collection anytime you get a, a game used card that's that's pretty pretty awesome so to Jab's family thank you so much for the free card I appreciate it um, I love your family Fridays I love all your videos it's what's gotten me back into collecting not just autographs but also cards so I bought four there's five boxes in there uh that's five times as much as i've bought in the last five years so i've really enjoyed collecting a lot because of what eric puts out in his video and if somehow you are not a subscriber to jeb's family please look them up and subscribe um he produces fantastic content and then the swag buck purchase should be a hall of fame autograph that i am just newly adding to the collection and I used uh, a bunch of eBay bucks that I've had, so I actually only paid $11 for this. Um, and again, it was using gift cards earned through swag bucks. Um, I use either Amazon or PayPal. It takes a little longer to get up to PayPal. So I actually usually use Amazon and then put that into our Amazon account that we use for the kids and transfer the similar amount of cash into my PayPal account, which is a deal I have with my wife. So for $11 from Swagbuck, so again, not my own money, not out of my paycheck or anything like that, is a Craig Biggio autograph tops, Supreme numbered, I can't know if you can see that, six out of 10. Um, personally for autographs, I don't care for numbering um, because when I'm collecting an autograph, you know, six out of ten is just telling you that there's only ten of this card autographed. But when I want a Craig Biggio autograph, you know, there's thousands. And so I don't want to, I, I, in other words, I won't pay a premium price for a, a numbered card on autograph because, you know, from my perspective in collecting, I know there aren't just ten Craig Biggio autographs out there. So, uh, you know, when purchasing this, it matched just a general autograph price. And it's actually pretty cheap with my my uh, eBay eBay bucks discount. So 11, I think 45 for this. Um, 3,000 hit club member. He was part of the Killer Bees in the late 90s. Um, he was a doubles machine. He was also, I believe, an all-star at three positions. Definitely two. He's an all-star catcher and second baseman. And then later in his career, I think he moved to the outfield. Um, someone in the comments can correct me if I'm wrong. Um, so... Pretty good random mail day today. Um, let me know what you think. Um, what do you guys think about numbered autographs? If you're an autograph collector, does the number mean anything to you if it's serial numbered? Um, do you prefer to pay a premium if it's out of 10, out of 5? Um, I, I kind of get out of 1 because it's the only kind of that card, I suppose. But um, let me know what you think. Um, and again, if you want to win the Tony La Russa, you know, I, I have TTM uh tuesday from july 9th we'll have all the directions um sign up for swag bucks and good luck 
And as always, thank you for watching my video. And I just wanted to add an addendum to the last video because um, something was uh, sent to my mailbox shortly after I filmed the first video from the, the Jabs family and the um, BGO autograph. Um, and this is another swag purchase. Um, I got a pretty cheap, a little under five dollars. I think four ninety-five is what I paid. Four ninety-eight is what I paid. Um, and for me, this card um, is sort of like a white whale. Not so much in terms of something that was impossible to get, but just something I'd never gotten. Um, and it harkens back to when I was twelve. I received a box of nineteen eighty-four tops cards. Um, 36 packs of course and opened the whole thing and did not get this key card to the set um, I've never gotten around to getting it but recently in trying to improve my rookie collection um, I did a search and I've been watching a little bit and I was able to get this for what I thought was that 498 steel of course is the 1984 Don Manley rookie number eight so this was not in that box so you know it leads me to believe I wonder if those packs were searched now uh, you can't get necessarily every card in the box, but I also didn't get the strawberry rookie in that box, so neither are the key rookies in that set. So I've always wondered. Um, but finally I'm adding this to my collection again. It's one of those things that I just never got around to picking up. But for me it was a key card. There is a little staining on the back, but the centering's pretty nice. Um, I'm not one to get stuff graded, so if it presents decently or nicely, it's a nice addition. This is for me super awesome. Looks better than it did in the pictures. Um, and again, is just one of those cards that I I've always wanted for my collection, didn't pick it up in that box oh so long ago. So this was like a you know a key pickup for me in the realm of rookie cards in my collection. So it's nice to kind of finally close out that you know missed opportunity back, I don't know, 1996 I think is when I got the box, 97, something like that. So anyway, I hope you enjoy this video. Um, another key rookie card, um, another swag box purchase for me. So again, I used Amazon gift cards that I find or I'm able to make on Swagbox and I use it to improve my collection a little bit. And if you look below, remember I'm doing a contest on Swagbox for that La Russa um, Hoffman plaque that I'll be giving away at the end of August. Um, if you go back to my TTM video from I think it's the 11th or 10th, you can see the rules on that. And always feel free to email me if you missed that and want to know the rules. Um, anyway, thanks for watching. See you later.